Good morning all. Today we are headed out and I think we're gonna start the woodshed area and when we get out there I will show you but we've actually kind of decided to not completely build a woodshed where we're gonna use an existing structure that we had. But before we get too far ahead of each other and jump into this week's video, here's a quick introduction in case you're new around here and wondering who we are. Hi there, we're Matt and Stacy. We recently bought an off-grid property in beautiful West Virginia. We've been busy making this property our own little slice of paradise, adding in a few modern conveniences, having fun learning all of the construction trades, and converting a pole barn into our future home. This channel is about my passion for painting with a torch and wax, and about our passion for adventure and taking risks. Consider subscribing and join this creative community. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying the video. And now that we have that formality over, let's get back to this week's video. Hope you enjoy. I'll show you why, but um, it's basically because, let's see, our first option was up by the wood pile, but the problem with that is that it was going to block where Matt drives our large mower now <laughs> down to mow. Uh, so that was the first option. The second option was also by the wood pile, but it would have blocked this rocky area, beautiful rocky kind of view because uh, we would have to go up so high and we didn't want to do that. So the third option then was out here by the pole barn in the back of the pole barn. But again, it would block the view from inside of the pole barn. As you can tell, we're all about the views around here. Why I have this beautiful kind of holler type of property without the view. So um, I will show you what we landed on when we get out there, and I'll also stick in some pictures of those other three options. Are you ready to go? Let's get to work. Cheers. <laughs> That's kind of awake. He's getting there. All right, got the hair up. We are ready to go. I wanted to mention one more thing before we head out there, and that is... I have no idea what kind of footage I'm going to get here. Um, it is a bit cloudy. You're supposed to be in between sprinkles most of the day. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be recording on this camera or the iPhone. Um, as much as I would love to have a GoPro, the um, GoPro is not in the Studio Stacy budget this time around. So um, yeah, we're just going to see. Hopefully the audio is going to come out okay. And um, yeah, I guess bear with us through this video. Hopefully it'll be all right. All right, let's get to work. But before we get to work here, we do need to switch out the mower off of Big Red here into the bucket to help us move around some dirt and gravel. I have no idea if this audio is going to come out, but this back behind us is by the studio and this is where we've decided to put the wood for the winter, spring, just store the wood in general to keep it dry. So um, this is the project to kind of get this area cleaned out. We're going to put more gravel down, a bunch of stuff, but um, hopefully you can hear this video. As you can see, it's got some gravel on it already, but um, lots of sawdust, things like that. And we're going to try to rake out this gravel, put down some fabric so weeds don't grow up, and probably put some things along this edge here. Uh, the <laughs> groundhog is living underneath there, but um, I think we'll probably block off this way, but he can still get in in other ways. 
first we just need to clean out this area real quickly just a few things in here and now we need to see if big red fits in this space and oh boy it's a tight squeeze <laughs> All right, all, here's where we are at. And if you can hear me, we've dug a trench out and we're gonna put wire down there and then backfill it with more stones. And hopefully the groundhog will stop digging in this direction because um, I don't know if you can see right there, but um, I don't want him to keep digging and cave in the uh, foundation of the shed. So Matt's bending wire. I thought it was more about having stinky groundhog under your studio. No. I mean, he's you always not... want a pet, but probably not the right pet. He's not stinky. I don't know. Groundhogs poop. <laughs> Everybody poops. All right, so let me explain what we're doing with this wire. We are basically bending it, stapling part of it up to the studio or the building, and then burying the other part of it. So it's coming out like an L shape. So, you know, hopefully that makes sense. But basically that prevents the groundhog or so we've been told and it worked really well up in the cabin, Matt's old office area. Worked really well up there, so we're trying it down here, um, and that's supposed to prevent the groundhog from digging under. Basically, they want the easiest route to do that, so um, it, it should hopefully, fingers crossed, prevent them from digging in here. And at some point in time, I'll show you where they can get under the studio, because it's not that difficult. I'm just trying to prevent them from digging up the foundation area. Oh, it's my hair. Well, if he's under there already, it just becomes groundhog jail. Let me out. Let me out. It doesn't really. <laughs> he can still get out. <laughs> All right. Now that we pretty much have in the area underneath the studio kind of back porch woodshed area leveled out, we're going to work on the driveway in front of the studio so it doesn't slant down so much going into this studio or into the front of the studio. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> hey Woody Woodpecker, what are you doing? <laughs> this girl is working hard. Or hardly working har har har. I was gonna sit here and make fun while you do all the labor. I'm just gonna jump on that thing behind you. <laughs> Good job. Way to go. <laughs> All right. I think we have everything pretty much graded out. So we still have to get a load of gravel. But the next step is we're going to put a post in and then some wood closing off part of this um, back area, porch area. I'll flip the camera and show you what I mean. All right. So in between these two posts here, it's uh, a 
longer span than what we want it to be. So we're going to put that post laying in the ground over there upright in between these two posts and attach it up there in the ceiling for some extra support. All right, all, we are going to call it here for the night. And um, I'll sh flip the camera on and show you what we got done, but um, we still need to get a few more boards for one section and we need to lay the fabric down. But before we do that, we need to get the gravel. So we made some good progress today, but um, not completely done yet. We're also going to let the other critters that call this place their home get some rest for the evening. We'll see you soon. Good morning, all. Today's plan is to finish the wood storage area. Fingers crossed we can do that today. We're supposed to get a load of gravel delivered from a very helpful neighbor, which is super nice of him. Um, however, he's having a hard time tracking some down. So fingers crossed he'll be able to get us some today. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to go lay down some fabric, so hopefully we won't have a bunch of weeds popping through, and, uh, you know, just kind of do some prep work to uh, get ready so that when he gets the stone here, we'll just be able to lay that down and then hopefully start stacking wood in there. And no sooner did we get this fabric laid down than the gravel showed up. So it was perfect timing. Thank you so very much, Joe, our wonderful neighbor, for helping us out with this.
I think all of this is pretty even out now. So the next step is to move the wood pile down to here. So um, when my dad was here several weekends ago now, he helped us out by chopping up all of those large logs that we had. Thank you, dad. So yeah, now we just have to move it down here so this way it can dry out in this space. And um, I don't know if you caught in that time lapse, but I somehow broke our rake in the middle of raking the gravel. And also, um, my shoe is falling apart, so it should be a sign of maybe we should just stop, but um, we're not gonna. So anyways, gonna get this wood pile moved down here now. And we drew some lines on the side, some measurements on the side of this trailer. And that's so we know because the wood burning stove in the barn dominium is a little bit shorter and smaller than the wood burning stove up in the cabin. So we want to make sure that the wood that we're taking down will fit into the stove in the barn dominium. So yeah, we're just sorting through the wood as we bring it down with us. I feel like I'm like on one of them crab boats where they got measure. Yep, good. Yep, good. <laughs> Actually, I didn't expect those to be. It's pretty good. Thanks, want me to hold? Yes. <laughs> all right, all. I think we are calling it for the day, for the evening. We have about three rows of wood, which I think is more than last year. It's so hard to tell. Um, this fall, our plan is to get more wood in here, um, but for right now, this will keep this wood dry, and then maybe when the weather cools off a bit, we'll scavenge for more wood. Anything to add? Does the weather cool off? <laughs> Hopefully this fall it will. <laughs> It'll be too late for wood then. All right. Anyways, um, I think we're gonna let you go on this one. Hopefully you liked the video if you did if it was entertaining We made you smile give it a thumbs up truly do appreciate it. This saw looks like it's taking my head off oh. <laughs> and Just kidding, I'm, I'm alive <laughs> Sorry about that background noise four-wheeler just drove by it is Saturday here. So at any rate we're gonna let you go here. Hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for following along. My arm's getting tired. Are we good? I'm always good. All right. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks again. Bye for now. Salad again. Salad again. Most people think those are weeds. We call it the garden. Uh-huh.